So hi all, welcome to Force Galaxy. So today's scenario based question is I have two objects. Okay, object A and object B. So both are related to each other, either master or either lookup. Okay. So here object A is parent and object B uh, object B is child. Okay. Here uh, now I have created a trigger on object A that is on the parent object and in this trigger whenever a report for parent object is created it will automatically going to create the report for object B for the for the child object okay so here in the in logic is uh, we have performed the DML to create the child report now here is one user and this user is assigned with one profile and in this profile for the for the parent object all the permissions are given but the use on this profile the permissions on the child object is not given that is the user is not having any permission to recreate edit the child report but he is having the permissions to create read and write the parent object reports okay. so now here my question is when user tries to create the report for the parent object will the trigger fire will as and as per the logic, will the report for child object recreate or not? As the user is not having any permission to create the child reports on the profile, he is having and none of the permission set is also not assigned extra permission sets to user to this user. So, will the trigger fire? Will the record for the object B will create or not? So here the answer is yes because. The Apex classes and the triggers runs in the system mode, so they will not going to check for the user's permissions. And in the system mode, they run as a with the admin access that is having complete access of all the org and for all the objects and for all the records. So it so this is because the trigger is able to create the records for the child records or that child object also without without checking for the user permissions on the profiles.